What's up, everybody? I'm John. I'm Isaac. And I'm Charles. And on today's episode of Cars and Cameras, we are at the ultimate off-road playground, which is Busco Beach ATV Park. 2,000 acres of sand dunes, trails, drag strips, and we're playing around on mini bikes today. This is the mullet bike, big tire, bicycle build versus the Sidewinder, which is our longitudinally mounted big block Briggs & Stratton uh, vintage mini bike build. And as a special guest, we have Charles's personal bike, the Dirt Hog. It's a Coleman CT200U with a uh, built engine and some gnarly tires on it. So we're gonna be comparing these bikes in today's episode. We're gonna be doing lots of trail riding, probably getting stuck, getting muddy, uh, some good technical uh, trails. Uh, I'm sure we're gonna find a hill climb at some point and then we're gonna finish it all off with a drag race, of course. To compare, tilt and 225 versus old school big block uh, displacement Briggs and Stratton 11 horse, right? Yeah. We just noticed that the fuel tanks are identical on the Sidewinder and the mullet bike. So we're also gonna do a fuel range test. Whoever runs out first is the loser. That means I'm gonna be taking it easy. You got that 225, man, but he's got the big block. Yeah, but who's got the gas cans? <laughs> Let's hit it. We started off deep in one of the trail systems and aimed to find our way out to our first challenge, an intense hill climb. The trails at Busco Beach are extensive and in great shape this time of year. If you come to Mini Mayhem this weekend, you will see for yourself. That being said, you are best off to bring a vehicle with suspension, as you'll see in this episode with the Sidewinder. Even though Ike was riding a machine that was built half from a bicycle, his ride looked much smoother than Charles. How's it going so far? Oh, pretty awesome. This Charles, a handful. is it? <laughs> Did you see my wheelie back there? I carried yeah. it. No, I missed it. Yeah. I mean, you know, maybe from here to the tree over there, you know. Uh, so how are they doing so far? So far, so good. This one surprisingly does well with the front tire. It is very surprising. Yeah. Because that's some deep sand. It is. I think it's because all the weight is on this big back tire. Very light on the front. This one's not a trail bike. <laughs> it looks like it because you are eating it up, dude. It's a handful. That's all I got to say. No suspension and tiny tires. No, but I broke the front. I broke the front Springer free. It's oh. it's working. Oh, I thought that one was working anyways. Oh well, it's definitely working now. It's the other bike. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, let's make our way to a uh, hill climb, maybe a drag race. Yeah. So we're at our next challenge spot, which is that awesome hill climb, and Charles has been completely downplaying how terrible the Sidewinder is out here. It's so bad. Uh, it has tiny tires and no suspension, and that is just a recipe for disaster in deep sand like this. Uh, so Ike is going to hop on the Sidewinder for the hill climb. Charles is going to hop on the mullet bike, and we're going to get uh, Ike's raw reaction to the, uh, to the Sidewinder. <laughs> I acquired the motor. I'm not going to talk bad about it. Oh, it's like my kid. Yeah, you know, good job. Don't get me wrong. It's an awesome bike. Oh, I know, but it's, it's not just meant for every this. Every you chance can't. you get, the thing wants to lay down. Yep, and your legs have nowhere to go because you got battery and carburetor. And y'all want me to ride this thing? Sure. Yes, All right. So to make this a little bit more exciting, how about if we go hill climb over the end? turn around at the bottom of the hill 
hill climb again and finish right here. Ooh. So wait, start here, hill climb, bottom, back, and then here. Yeah. Okay. So, what is so as the weak one, how about I start? Okay. Charles, it's just obstacles. They're going obstacle straight into your kneecap. <laughs> oh, wow. The seat is in a horrible place. Yeah. Well, contact the manufacturers, write them a letter, maybe an email. They'll get back to you in the seven business days. Are you ready? On your mark, get set, go. Oh my goodness. Sure you get a second go. Or when the rock hits the ground. Alright, you ready? Dang, look, carburetor got a little sideways yeah. again. I just, you know. Ike's first go was about 10 seconds faster than his second go. His fastest lap was about a 20. All right. I guess it's my turn. Good. Yeah. On your mark. Get set. Go. I do believe I've been beat. <laughs> you made quick work of that. Yeah, if I could have gotten the turnaround a little cleaner, it would have been faster, but I'll take that. Well, Your time, sir. Okay. Was it one? 8.49. 18.49. Yeah. Your time's averaged about a 25. I, I want to know my best time. 20. About 20, 25. Well, that's not bad. That's only a second and a half slower. Yeah, not too yeah. bad. The second, I, I, I don't even know if I want to try the side. The second no. go, did no. you see how I just zoomed up and I made that nice turnaround? Yep. But then I lost it. Yep, that's what, that's what got you. Yeah. That bike will toss you. Oh, it was going sideways oh, yeah. and everything. It was awesome. It, it engaged. That's what happened. Oh, yeah. It was awesome. Well, it's looking to be a good day for the uh, mullet bike, huh? Yeah, yeah. The, oh my gosh, the way it felt launched up the hill, the, the hill wasn't even there. Yeah. A juggernaut. <sighs> Takes right off. Yep. We're going to make our way over to the drag strip for the finale. Might even throw the dirt hog in the mix. You boys ready? On your mark, get set, go.
since they just smoothed the track. Oh, yeah. I think Sidewinder finally ran out of gas. Are you out of gas? I'm out of gas, sir. He ran out of gas. Man. Yeah, I didn't think about it. They probably love that we're tearing up the track so we're doing burnouts. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've run at that. Yeah, how about I have some gas? Yeah, I'll give you some gas. I'll go for it. Here, just that. turn around. Oh, yeah. And I'll take it's it out. It's in the, the inner zipper. Thank you, baby. I'll give you the break on this one. All right. I'll go I'll go as soon as you do. Two, three, go. I got him that time. If we just give Charles the break, it might be neck and neck. Ah, I'm not losing to him this time. Finish things up today with a three-way drag race with the dirt hog. It's got a built Predator 212 with Go Power Sports goodies in there. This thing can clear a beaver dam. Is that gonna work? Yeah, that'll <laughs> that'll work. They'll so get the point. Oh, hold on. He gets the point.
not a rigid bike. Anything but a rigid bike. is digging in. Gotta be careful of that. These are both some sweet mini bikes, guys. Help. Yeah. Help. All, all of them are sweet mini bikes. Whew, we had a photo finish with the Dirt Hog and the other two. Dude, I stood, oh. I stood right up. Yeah. I don't know if you guys, you guys were here, there, and gone. Oh, I, I turned my head. It's you did? Yeah, mine literally, I was walking behind the bike. The thing about Busco Beach is that it's really not a place for any mini bikes, but we do it anyway at Mini Mayhem just because it's fun. Um, and so, yeah, the Sidewinder rides a little bit like garbage, but you know, in the backyard, on the street, it is awesome. The mullet bike, meanwhile, I don't know how, it's like magic, it handles so well. Um, it's, you're basically riding a unicycle with like a front tire assisting you. There's like no weight on the front, and as soon as you lean forward, it like gets real hairy up there. That's what I noticed. Um, but that thing darn takes off. So we beat these things up all day. And the only thing that happened is uh, we lost the carburetor once and the, the chain fell off. The carburetor. Yeah. <laughs> but it's it fine. <laughs> it was Bluetooth there for a second. Got anything, Ike? This was awesome. This is yeah. an awesome day at work. So honestly, neither of these bikes are suited for busco if anything the dirt hog is it's got the gnarly tires it's got the built engine it's got front suspension, front suspension. rear suspension will be good too uh because my back is going to be hurting but thanks for letting us borrow the bike for the shoot man um anyway any final thoughts ike yeah charles is supposed to be wearing a helmet because he laid down the bike any final thoughts charles where's my helmet Thanks for watching, everybody. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Come out to Mini Mayhem October 21st, 22nd through 24th of 2021 right here at Busco Beach. Uh, can't wait. Visit our website, cars-cameras.com. Pick up some of our merchandise, help support the channel. We'll catch you next time. Uh, wait, is someone following somebody? No, we're just kind of driving, huh? I'm letting Charles uh, 
Lead? Lead. Oh, God. Uh -oh. I think you know uh, this place. I haven't been here in so long, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's my problem. I used, to, I used to know this very well, but I can't. See, but here's the thing. I never knew it. Oh, okay.